right, we're checking out the only game where if you don't like eating your vegetables, you can just commit medical malpractice on them. It's Fruit Clinic. I think the scariest thing about this game is how alive the fruit's eyes are. He's like, great, you have your medical license, right? Define license. Oh, God. He's fine. Look, he's doing it. This is why you don't skip leg day. Or I guess for him, arm day. What are these sad little things? Oh, I hadn't fixed him yet. And he's like, seriously, you're not going to finish up? Listen, you had 30 bucks on you. Okay, this is what 30 bucks will get you. <laughs> you get sewn up halfway. What happened to you anyway? How come you have a giant hole in your abdomen? He's like, well, someone tried to juice me. All right, hold on. Let me give you the rest of it there. There you go. Are, are you drooling out of happiness or did I mess something up? I feel like I probably messed something up. What do I spend money on in a fruit clinic? Oh, tweezers. All right, I'm armed with tweezers now. Where's the, oh, the scalpel's coming. <laughs> All right, I can buy a new plant. What do you know, the plant, wait a second. I'm operating on plants and my decoration is also plants. This feels weird. All right, well now you can say hi to your, oh no. I'm assuming this is not a normal part of your anatomy, is it? Does that worm have demon eyes? Oh, it, uh, but <laughs> you've been possessed by Cthulhu. I like how it's like vacuum up the stuff. This could be her children. All right, now go ahead and use my telekinetic powers to close this up. I've never tried to stitch a strawberry before. I don't know if it would actually heal or what. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, first things first, we're gonna have to do a little bit of surgery here on the cucumber. So what happens if I surgery the wrong spot? Oh, okay, <laughs> hold on, I gotta do, I gotta, hey! Oh, now he's angry. Oh, now he's screaming. I love how it's like a different emotion every time the scalpel comes down. See, here he's like gray for real. Just let, just do it. Just get it over with. All right, you asked for it. I think what's weird is I feel like I'm just cleaning this, this vegetable up so that someone can eat him in the end. So I don't know if I'm actually doing them a favor or not. You've unlocked band-aids. <laughs> on fruit and vegetables. Oh, I can buy a new chair. Well, it's not really a chair. That's more like an end table. How big are these fruits? Like these are like normal sized chairs with normal sized coffee mugs. The coffee mugs kind of look like they would break their arms. A VIP customer. <laughs> Where'd your sunglasses go? You should have kept them on. What happens if I like vacuum your eye? Oh, he's just not impressed. I kind of wondered if like his eyeball would shoot out of his head or something. Let me get all these seeds out of you here. Like, you know, seedless grapes. You ever wondered how they're made? This is how. Every single grape has to go in for surgery. It's a long, arduous process. I traded in my equipment for books. I feel like that was a bad, you know what, hold on, let me get one more. Maybe, maybe it can get a little, all it did was grow in size. It's the same stuff, it's just bigger. Right, let's see what's going on inside over here. Oh, uh, do you actually want me to remove this? Because I feel like this might be important. I mean, who gets to keep this in the end? Is it, can I just throw it over here? <laughs> you wanna hold it? No, all right, it has to go on the tray, huh? All right, so now, See, now, now we've we've upgraded, okay? Now you get a, a Band-Aid for your $13. I never thought I'd be saying this, but like, are all these vegetables Wolverine or something? How are they healing so quickly? Ooh, an X-ray. Alrighty. You hold, you carry like a gun or some bombs or something in you? Oh. Inside of his apple body, is there another smaller apple? Is this the way vegetables work? Is this your child? Were they eating your child alive? <laughs> I'm so confused about like food anatomy at this point. It's different because it's like fruits and vegetables. I would feel especially weird operating on like an entire pizza spray. I love how it doesn't even say what you're actually spraying on the creature. Is this like an antiseptic? Oh, it's like entire mushrooms. Just spraying away an entire Italian diner. Everyone has something inside of them. It's just a smaller you. You're like a Russian nesting doll. Why are you so happy about this? You should be caring for your mini me. I love the face. He's like, ah, oh, not really i'd rather just be on my own <laughs> all right well there you go you can sit on this pan for all eternity you don't get a band-aid though the economy is particularly bad right now what else do i oh now i unlock a shaver i'm going to shave the fruit what am i gonna shave like a coconut all right let's uh i don't know I, let's get more plants in here maybe that'll make everyone feel at home that is that's not that's not a plant i mean i guess it's decor but what's it doing way over there why is there a medical kit like 30 feet from the actual station? All of my patients can just look at that medical kit longingly, hoping that I'm going to use it. I'm not. <gasps> I'm right. <laughs> I was just kidding when I said we're looking happy shaped like a coconut. You're actually shaving a coconut. Yes. Man, I don't know 
it's kind of it's it's really thick like a really thick shaver see i can get the y for yeet in but getting even just the yeet the e like i could probably get the e but you can just barely see it it's mostly just a y oh he only wants to be shaved in this area i guess sorry i ended up like you know shaving one single armpit as well I don't think that this would be able to get into a coconut. Okay, now this might not even be a coconut. I don't know what this is anymore. Down here in Florida, we have two vegetables. Coconuts and plantains. That's about it. And sometimes bananas. I would say the other most common fruit is that Bud Light, I guess? Cottons. <laughs> That's what we're calling this. It's just a multiple. It's just a multiple of cotton. What am I gonna do? Make him eat it? Oh, corn. I love corn. Well, maybe not this corn. Are these growths or is that just like excess butter and bacon? So tell me how this happened and he'd be like, well, I was invited to a barbecue. Little did I know. Yeah, I get it. All right, let me go ahead and wipe off all of your bacon bits here. Oh, I have to reassemble his corns. So does the heart rate go up? Like if I start messing around, this is this is a very calm corn. If if I made you eat this, would that be cannibalism? I'd be kind of concerned working on it because I love corn. That's like one of my favorite things. There you go. You're mostly back together, sort of. Fortunately, fixing that corn is going to allow me to get better decor, such as a slightly different clock. How would I do with the other clock? Would I just throw it out? That was a waste of a good clock. There's a lot of space in this area. All right, maybe I can get better furniture. Ah, here we go. A nice bookshelf. Too bad I'm illiterate. And a slightly different shaped table. All right, how about the station? Maybe the station will be better. Oh, there we are. More tools to scare things with. I'm not sure what you are, but it appears as if though you have a traumatic road rash. I need to make sure you're scrubbed down before you get consumed by human beings. Oh, are you a bean pod? Yep. So wait, if I remove all your beans, then then like you're nothing. You're just a pod then. You you're not really a bean pod anymore. You've you've lost all of the beans. I have them now. Don't you wonder where they're going to go? They might go into my salad. <laughs> Gotta use like 1,200 stitches for this thing. I have no idea what you would inject into, into a vegetable. What am I gonna make it juicier? Someone's gonna be like, my orange is dry. Don't worry, we can fix that. If it's an orange next, I'm gonna lose it. First though, bigger station. Got the IV bag hanging down there. Oh, that's not an orange at all. What happened? It's like a bunch of grapes, but this grape's drunk. This grape's gonna throw up. This grape is, well, he's actually kind of chill. He's pretty laid back. All right, I don't even know how to fix you. Oh, never mind. I guess I'm just going to start willy nilly injecting people with stuff. Get juicy. <laughs> I love how he's like, oh, God. <laughs> I kind of enjoy just dehydrating to death. It freaks me out when the fruit is drooling because it's almost like it's going to eat itself at this point. That's the next step. Oh, I got fancier tweezers. They're like made out of the sun. I mean, let's keep pumping up the station, I guess. Oh, my books have been replaced with actual medical items. Not exactly sure what you are. No idea. What would be funny is if I take care of like this fly or whatever over here, this fruit fly, and he's like, actually, that was a pet. Well, I'm just gonna give this give this thing like a crew cut oh i'm actually it's actually stopping me from going any higher so am i injecting you or am i sopping this up oh i'm just i'm literally shoving color into you what's inside of the syringe it's just food coloring oh this this <laughs> this fruit has a broken heart if only it was so easy all right, yeah, just take the pieces over here. It kind of reminds me of like uh, little spree candies. Now we need to make sure that the uh, heart is fresh. So you always want to, yep, that's a fresh heart right there. Put that in, no big deal. Go ahead and stitch it up. I noticed that we've stopped using band-aids completely at this point. Am I gonna start taking like all of the different organs out of the fruit? I got a rug. Or it could just be like spilled pear juice or something. I really don't know. Well, it's not really pear juice at this point. It's actually like, you know, the blood of the innocent. All right, now I'm always curious what people have inside of them at this point. You have a, you have a mini me and you have worms. You're a fruit or you're like a dog. I love how he's happy and the kid is worried. <laughs> the kid's like, so you're taking me home, right? <laughs> I'm going to keep upgrading this. I, I, feel like I'm, I feel like I'm not actually getting anything. Like, I'm pretty sure that was the exact same thing I had. How about the furniture? Okay, that's different. <laughs> a mushroom. 
I don't think this is a fruit or a vegetable. I hate to tell you, but I didn't go to school for working on fungus. I didn't really go to school for working on fruits and vegetables either, so you know what, whatever. I'll just inject you with paint like I do to everyone else. Not really sure what would live inside of you. Oh, your organs have gone bad as well. There we go. Now you can be extra emotional when you end up on someone's salad. You're welcome. More furniture. Oh yeah, okay, that's actually looking pretty decent. Got like a real computer now and everything. Oh, watermelon. Oh, don't be scared. I've been cutting stuff up all morning. Oh, I have to cut you in multiple spots. I love how the cuts aren't even equal. So like, you know, it's, they're completely asymmetrical. You're gonna have asymmetrical scars on your, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like your chest. What happens if I, I was gonna say, what happens if I just leave like the smallest part unstitched, but it wouldn't let me go on. All right, now I can fit three patients. In fact, let's put all three of you down here at the same time. I'm just trying to be efficient. This is a very obese carrot. I think this is a carrot. I never had any of these vegetables talk to me yet, so I can't really be sure. Do you have a little carrot? You do. It would be amazing if all of our food just gave birth to smaller foods. Like you had a double cheeseburger and it just gave birth to like a single cheeseburger. Oh, there was a sale at Walmart. We got our bandages back finally. <laughs> is there like a max for the furniture? Like do I eventually, oh, it turned into a cactus. I'm gonna keep going. How about my table? And now there's slightly more space and whoever sits here can guzzle down this bottle of my lanta. <laughs> Let's just chill it out there. Oh, I just got that stand. Oh, I've maxed it out. Slightly more impressive, sharper scalpel. Go. Continue the upgrades. Whoa. Now all the different fruits and vegetables can feel like they're being interrogated. Oh, I got new curtains. I just spent like $800 on a pair of curtains. What are these curtains made out of? I'm still waiting to see like, I don't know, like a, like a convertible or something inside of these creatures. Oh, you're just filled with angry ramen noodles. Don't worry about it. I deal with this a lot in this line of work, okay? A, a more padded seat, that's nice. What is this? It's like a demonic onion. All right, onion. I mean, I've seen it all at this point, so. Let's find out what's going on inside of here. I knew it, it's a little unlit. <laughs> I think I've delivered so many fruits and vegetables. I'm basically a farmer. I may actually produce food faster than farming at this point. I love that this is the, like the Stallone of vegetables. It's already got like scars all over it. I assume that's supposed to be the skin, but you never know. Congratulations. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I never looked at the face while I'm doing this. <laughs> Continue to look away, child. <laughs> what happened to this cucumber? What, was he playing like full contact football or something? Although I guess depending on the season, this is kind of what, what cucumbers look like. I don't know like why a cucumber would have acne as well. There is so many medical procedures I have to perform on this guy. And we don't even know for sure that this is something he wants to get rid of. It's totally possible that he has a pet fly. What are you, what are you afraid of? It's... It's like a, it's like a, a cotton ball. It's not even sharp or anything. I've got so many tools to make your life terrible. And this is the thing. Oh, now you just don't care. Yeah, look, maybe I can give your fly a bath too. I'm disinfecting the fly. There, you now have a sterile fly friend. So in this medical practice, we don't really fix you. We just inject you with color to make it look like you're fine. Actually, that'd be terrible if the cucumber was like, what did you use to make the color? And it's like, oh, I just basically juiced a bunch of your friends. It's like a V8, but it's just made of cucumbers. So essentially I'm injecting you with your own kind. There, you could have one of many things. I love how it's not pain, it's just anger now. <laughs> Look at this, fear, ang- Oh, never mind, that's surprise. I was gonna say, it's fear, anger, fear, anger. He could also be singing very violently, I'm not really sure. Oh, this particular child cucumber has like a, a growth on its head. A flower. Maybe this is a designer hat. I really don't know. There you go, little cucumberlet. I unlocked a gold-plated syringe. I don't really know why you have to bling out your materials. I guess I can get a better, uh, a better plant, maybe. Not really sure what the deck. Oh, I finally have a light inside of my office. All right, and of course more medical equipment because why not? I'm not gonna lie. Originally this place looked like you know I was doing surgery in the back alley. Now it's starting to 
to look like a legitimate place to do business. What are you? You like a papaya or something? All right, let me remove the demon child that was resting inside of your skin. I love that the color on my on my needle is still green. Like I'm still injecting him with green serum. It's basically like the Hulk stuff. It'd be amazing if it did turn him into like a Hulk papaya or whatever he is. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. As far as I know, it's 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 a money generator. Well, it's a drooling money generator. All right, keep the decor train rolling here. This is I just paid like nine hundred dollars for a, a floor mat. What is this carpet made out of? It's like the dreams of alpacas or something. It's not so much the fur. It's just what is this? It's kind of like a pear, but with a fungal patch on it. Again, this might not be a bad thing. This is like a ton of extra food. All right, let's see. Oh, you got uh, you got like some buckshot sitting there. What were you doing that you got shot? All right, there's some more over there as well. Are we just gonna leave that in there? Or are we gonna remove that? I guess we're removing it. I think the sad part is, is that the seeds inside of this guy, that might be important. I think that he needs the seeds in order to reproduce. I've effectively just sterilized this fruit. You can never have children, you're welcome. He's dancing around, he's like, well, I never planned on it. All right, I gotta max out everything here, so let's max out the station. Okay, sweet, now we have, oh, there's one more level. Now I have the, like, the legitimate full interrogation lights on both sides. All right, keep it rolling. My computer is slightly more computery. Oh, it goes past level 11 for the station. I'm starting to get paid so much money per surgery that, like, $3,000. Where did this thing come up with three grand? I could increase it to nine grand. I'm gonna make ten grand basically just giving this this piece of food a, a car wash. Nine thousand dollars for that. All right, whatever. Let's see what else we got. What just happened? What did I get? Did I get like a calendar? Was that it? Have I just been guessing what day and month it is? Okay, more plants. I like that. Let's keep going. Better clock. Oh, my clock just went back in time. It's just an older clock now. Okay, oh, I finally got my medical licenses. <laughs> I've been performing surgery for like the last six years with no licenses. Max level, yes, okay. So now the computer. Okay, now we have some extra monitors and more computer stuff. Oh, it's an air conditioning unit. And, oh, I just, I replaced a bunch of stuff with something else now. And all that happened there was my light went from the ground to the ceiling. I like how now I'm not even upgrading anything. It's just changing the position of things I already have. I don't know what that is. I have no clue what that is, but I got it at max level. It literally looks like something out of Star Wars. I'm pretty sure this is what they used to interrogate the princess with. <laughs> well, apparently if you perform illegal surgeries without a license for years, you become a millionaire. Seems legit. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Fruit Clinic. Until the next time, stay foxy, much love.